Hey guys, it's Ryan here from Kira of the Travel Stories. And I can say, I'm on a lot in India. Hey guys, I'm actually at Gold Coast Airport. I'm actually just having a quiet drink before I actually head off to uh, my first leg of my trip. So um, this weekend, I'm actually heading to Christchurch uh, for the weekend. I'm actually going to go see the All Blacks play. The Almighty All Blacks. I'm going to go see the Mighty All Blacks actually play in Christchurch on the weekend. So anyway, guys, um, here's actually the first leg of my trip. Enjoy. Bye. before 1.30 in the morning and I've actually just arrived at Christchurch Airport so anyway I'm just waiting for my shuttle to take me to where I need to go um, it is very cold here but I didn't actually realize um, on my flight today just how bumpy it was and everything like that and I was trying to get some sleep and that didn't really happen so so yeah but anyway I'm now at Christchurch Airport so I was trying to do a review but that didn't happen because of the bumpiness of the flight but at oh, Christchurch Airport I'm now actually here. I've got a couple more days until I actually get to see the ABs play, but yeah, I'm excited now, so really excited. since 2009 I've actually been in New Zealand for a All Blacks match so it's pretty cool so anyway guys um, I hope you guys actually enjoy the match and what I actually show for you guys um, I will show you guys the haka um, so I hope you guys actually enjoy bits and pieces of the match that I actually show for you guys enjoy so what is the haka it is a traditional Māori dance which is not only used just as a war cry but it's also used before some sporting matches for some teams and also at funerals, weddings and even welcomes for high dignitaries. In New Zealand there's even a nationwide tournament for teams who choreograph the best haka. We call that kapa haka. The All Blacks are famous worldwide for doing the haka before a match. They are most famous for doing the kamate haka, however as you'll see in this video They'll end up doing their own haka, which is called Kapao Pango. Kapao Pango actually means all blacks. I can bang on more about the haka, but because it is so special to New Zealand and the Māori community, but let's just watch the haka. Oh, 
a brilliant game by the All Blacks. Um, we're just leaving. I'm just leaving AMI Stadium now, and I head back to the Millibar. Um, absolute brilliant game to watch, and it was well worth it to come over to Brisbane for the match as well. So yeah, as you can hear, there's a lot of noise going on, a lot of happy fans going on. So really good. Um, I managed to get one signature from the All Blacks, but I because I know him from the Crusader side, so. Um, I managed to only get one signature, which is sad, but I'm happy in the sense that I managed to see one player. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, off to the Millibar and I'll show you guys what it's like post-game at the Millibar after an AVs game, because it was pretty packed there when I actually turned up there before, so I couldn't film. Um, go to your Blacks and um, happy with the result and I was really happy to actually be in Christchurch for this match as well. So yeah, I really love coming to the Miller Bar pre and post game for both the Crusaders and the All Blacks. Beer's cold and cheap, they have a great snack menu, and during the winter time they even have an open fire in the beer garden outside, and even mulled wine as well. I love it. They always have a live band on Friday and Saturday nights and they can draw a decent crowd even when there's not a game on. Um, the band that's playing right now is actually called Decoy Dark. Um, they play some really great covers and they've even actually made their own version of some covers as well. Um, they actually make a really good, great version of um, Lord's Royals. <laughs> I've got to know a lot of the regulars and staff over the years since I've been going and um, we have a lot of fun and the staff look after me and they treat me like family as well.